Welcome once again to Cooking Around's channel. Welcome, welcome. What do I have for you today? Today I'm going to improve the magic diet cabbage soup with the sister magic diet cabbage soup. And this one, um, I made it a little bit different. I added some more goodies to make it more nutritious, to fill you up more, to make you last longer. Now the other one was very successful over the years. I had thousands and thousands of views and a lot of people wrote back in their comments how within three days they lost a lot of weight. Why? Just a simple breakfast, eat this for lunch and dinner and there you go. The weight will just fly off. Let me show you how to put this all together. Grab your pot and on medium high let's add about one to two tablespoons of olive oil. Add about two to three cloves of minced garlic. Add one chopped white onion. Now you can chop it fine or just chop it a little bit larger. That depends on you and your taste. Now I want the soup to be a little bit rich. And how do we do this? We put in one tablespoon of tomato paste. And I want you to move it around and mix it in with the onion and garlic. Now let's add one bell pepper, basically any color you want. Now I'm using here half green and half red, or you can use half red, half green and yellow, and chop it basically any size that you want. Now let's make it more nutritious, celery. Celery is good for you. Let's add about two stalks sliced or chopped, and guess what? I added some of the celery leaves. Okay, now let's pour in about a cup of water just so we can mix all these ingredients together. Now here comes the good part. I'm adding two cups of sweet cabbage that has been sliced as fine as you want it. But you can use regular cabbage if you want. I'm using this one because, you know, I need to make a change in the soup. And this is a little on the lighter side. Now let's add two whole tomatoes chopped and guess what? I left the skin on. Why? Because it's nutritious. And one cup of broccoli. I think I have a cup and a half here because I really like this. And now baby spinach. How much? I would say about two, two and a half cups of non-compacted baby leaves. Just throw it in just like this. Turn your heat to high and let's add another cup of water. Now how much water do you add? Here I'm adding another cup. Well it's kind of difficult. How do you like the soup? Do you like it more watery? Do you like it more thick? I usually add it just about one inch above the soup line. Now for flavor I'm adding two veggie stalks and of course they must be low sodium. And to increase your metabolism let's add one tablespoon of ground turmeric. Now as for fresh ground pepper, well Again, that depends on you. I like lots of pepper. So this is a diet soup, so add as much as you want. Now I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt here. The less you use, the better. So try not to add more than half a teaspoon. Okay, now let's cover it. Let it come to a boil, reduce the heat, and let it go for 30 minutes. If you're sensitive to veggies, please let it go to 40 minutes. And guess what? I shall be back. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. Let's take a look. That looks really, really good. Now at this point, you can add a little bit more water if you want. But you see, for me, this is absolutely perfect. And now it's very important. You need to taste it. You make it your own. So just grab your spoon and just taste it and adjust it the way you want it. And now let's give it a little bit of zing. Take half of lemon or lime if you want and just squeeze the juice right into it just like this and this will give it a nice sharp taste and half a cup of parsley. Now I would like you to eat as much of the soup as possible. Lunch, dinner. For breakfast have a reasonable light breakfast but I don't want you to do this more than three days. 
because you know you need to have protein after that period but if you follow my instructions you're going to lose the weight really really fast and this is nutritious for you it is a meal in one you're going to love it so once again we come to the end of the video so i want you to try this and please i'm waiting for your comments that you lost weight so once again it's goodbye from tony and cooking around